let's go to a bigger picture, Gavin, and talk a little bit about, I guess, the, the financial foundation. As Christians, we have an uneasy relationship with money, don't we? Do we own it? Do we own the possessions that we have? Or, you know, as we say in the Anglican Church, you know, all things come from you, O Lord, and of your own do we give you. If they come from God, they're his, not ours. Exactly. It's a, it's a fundamental uh, question. And uh, I'm not sure if you've heard of people referring to the three M's before, but three of the biggest decisions we make in our life, our master, who are we going to serve, our money, or how are we going, what's our vocation, how are we going to generate uh, income, and our mate, who, who are we going to marry or are we going to marry. So they're the three big sort of life decisions. But then another question to ask is, what are our big questions when it relates to our finances? And, and I believe they boil down to probably three big questions. And the first one is that ownership issue that you uh, just mentioned there, Alan. The other question is about debt and how we use debt and uh, whether we use it, how much we use it. And then the final question is really about giving. What's our approach to giving? Do we give it all? Do we give a certain amount? Are we flexible in what we give? And so I think these three questions, ownership, debt and giving, are the equivalent of the three M's for, for life. And, and I think it's important because they have such a big impact on how we live our lives uh, uh, beyond that. I mean, ownership is, is a, a difficult one to start with. My cousin David, and I know he won't mind me talking about him, and he's in New Zealand, so he won't know I'm talking about him anyway. But my cousin Dave, he worked as a missionary in Calcutta for a number of years. And when he came back, his entire attitude to money and possessions was different. It was just something that was there. If it all went tomorrow, then he lived in a country where he would be looked after. And so he was what the rest of us, the rest of the family, sometimes viewed as reckless because in the end, the money didn't matter. And he said, look, it's owned by God. I'm going to do these things that I want to do because this is what I think God wants me to do. And he'll make it work. I mean, that's a, that's a very relaxed attitude to it. But the rest of us all held up, <laughs> held our hands up in horror. Uh, I mean, what is the right way to approach things like that? It's a really challenging one, uh, isn't it? Because often you you come back from a from countries that are a lot poorer than Australia, being one of the wealthiest uh, countries in the world. If you look at our unemployment benefits and you compare that to, there's this little calculator. I can't remember the website, but maybe we can find it later. That actually. If you put your income level into that, it will show you where you sit on the income spectrum around the world. And even somebody who receives, you know, a thousand dollars a year in income still sits at the highest forty percent of people around the world. So coming back from the mission field back to a first world country like Australia or New Zealand uh, does make us feel like uh, we don't really need to worry too much about finances, and, and God will provide it. And, and he does. But the harder question, I think, is to ask about, well, if I've got a little bit of resources or I've got a lot of resources, what does God want me to do with that? Because often we, if you're giving answer, your answer to how you deal with giving is that I give 10% or I give X amount and then the other 90% is mine. I think the bigger question is, rather than saying that other 90% or whatever percentage it is, is mine, I think the bigger question is, and it's the same question for your cousin Dave as it is for you and for me or for the you know the billionaire down the road what does God want me to do with that other 90% and I think that's the key thing around ownership it's not about I own this and I can just choose to do what I want but with every single purchase it could almost be a spiritual decision what does God want me to do with this particular resource and I think that's the key about ownership you're handing over every single possession bank account you're handing it all over to him and saying this is your I'm just in a manager of it, I'm a steward of it at the moment, what do you want me to do with that? And that's the key change in mentality, I think, that we need to have as Christians. That's interesting, isn't it? Because that, that's like, it. it's almost like, we have a tendency to say, okay, look, I'm tied, there's God's 10%, I can do what I like with the rest. Yes. But actually, that's not the case. Yeah, it's not about the 10%, it's about the, probably more important about the 90%. Yeah, it's really interesting. And it's the same for Dave, it's the same for somebody who's got less than Dave, it's got the same for somebody who's got a lot more than David. So yeah, it's a, mm. it's a universal thing. <laughs>